here, but it's it's not just the best myths, but we've had some of the best days on set. I mean, I feel like I've grown up on the show. And for me, what was super duper memorable, because not only was it one of my favorite myths, but when we did car drop, where we dropped a car from a helicopter and you remote controlled a car from another helicopter. being really, really emotional about this myth and like I was so, I was like running around just like hugging you guys because it went well. <laughs> you did it! Yes! When I found out when I got home is that I was pregnant on that shoot. So it was extremely <laughs> hormonal. Actually hormones, amazing. I was less excited after my first kiss. But it wasn't only unexpected hormones that caused the high notes to be hit. More than a nice decade work. of adrenaline-fueled science forged a poignant on-screen bond. <laughs> Let's all group hug. Yeah. No. I remember feeling really <laughs> emotional when we were all standing on the third rocket car site yeah. in the desert, all five of us. Well, I think our work here is done. That was, it was really, really intense. I started to cry. Yeah, that was an you emotional were. Totally. <laughs> Coming up. Congratulations on an amazing 14 year run. Science! It hasn't all been accolades and warm oh. hugs. Ah. Stop whining, go have a cookie. Go! No. Because wow. the good days have come at a cost. Thanks for 15 great seasons, Mythbusters. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You made the scientific method feel like a guilty pleasure. Wherever your Jado rocket car takes you, you'll always be blowing stuff up. In here. The Mythbusters touched hearts and minds from the very beginning. Mmm, <laughs> it's a delicious memory. In its weird and wonderful way. I can't answer that. Tying a pig's stomach into a skeleton. The show became part of the pop culture conversation. Tonight, we take on the classic myth that a cat will always land on its feet. But this is one reality show reunion. Stop whining. He's such a Where the final analysis is going to be objective. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we've patted ourselves on the back enough, I think. A little more comfort in your design. The good days have come at a cost. Dude, we've never used the blue rope. Seems that Adam needs another cookie. We always use no, the blue rope. No, we road. haven't. Yes. <laughs> I actually don't want to do this test right now. The times that I've been the most upset have been in the early days in particular, where they put us in situations, you know, that were unwise as far as getting hurt. <laughs> oh! You did hook up the real thing. Yeah. No, just leave me alone. And stuff like a Star Wars episode, because there's like no reason to test lightsabers on higher ground. Oh, I hit myself in the groin. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. Well, at least you got to build something. It wasn't as bad as like pyramid power or primary perception. Did you hear it screaming? The oh. Oogie Boogie stories from yeah. the early days. Mind control. Those were oh, with the, the crystal. crystal. <laughs> Double espresso. Juice squeeze. I think pyramid power is absolutely the lowest. That was pretty bad. I'm reading your thoughts right now. We I'm gave it our best shot. I mean, you know, you, you have this thing that you have to test. You have to treat it as seriously as you would any other myth. Real free energy. If we're going to talk about worst days, I think we all have the same worst possible day ever, and it's going to be cannonball. All right, fuse is lit. It's gonna be soon. Oh, Cannonball. God, Absolutely. Yeah. 